Good morning guys, today is Wednesday the 29th of April and this is our English for today. So this is our third day of writing about our battle. Okay, so what you're going to need, just the same as it's been for the last few days, paper, if you're still using your orange book, just carry on taking your page, a pencil, and if you want to take part in the challenge, you need your art supplies. So to start off, write down today's date at the top of your page or the top of the piece of paper, and if you've got a ruler, then underline it. If you don't have a ruler, don't worry about it. Okay, we've got our spelling words for the week, so the same as we've had on Monday and Tuesday, our homophones, to, to, there, 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 new, new, no, and no. So you can choose a different spelling activity today, or you can just copy down the words. We've got four sentences, again, where I might have made some mistakes. So what I want you to do is to copy down the sentences, and if I've used the wrong homophone, change it. If I've used the correct homophone, keep it in. Pause the video here, and then we'll correct them together. Okay, sentence number one. Yes or no, he asked. And I've used the wrong homophone here. It should be yes or no, N, O. Sentence number two. They are really good friends. It's correct. They are really good friends. Sentence number three, I know that, that's the correct homophone. And sentence number four, she's bought two, that's the incorrect homophone, it should be two for the number two, T, W, O. Okay, for our spelling, punctuation and grammar, we're still using commas in the list, but our activity is a little bit different today. I've wrote three sentences with a lot of extra ands, and I want you to fix the sentences for me. Take out the extra ands and use commas. Sentence one, the packet contained red and blue and green and yellow felt tips. Number two, at the top of the league were Birmingham and Manchester United and Crewe and Ashton Villa and Walsall Town. Number three, violins and recorders and drums and guitars were all set out in the music room. So there's far too many ands in those sentences. It's unnecessary. Get rid of them by using commas. Pause the video here and then we will correct it together. Okay, having a look at the first one, the packet contained red and blue and green and yellow felt tips. We need an and for green and yellow, the other two we can get rid of. Put a comma after red and a comma after blue. Number two, we need to keep the last and. We can get rid of the rest and put in a comma. And number three, again, we keep our and between drums and guitars, but we can get rid of the extra ands. Our English today, or we are learning to, we're learning to create a character. Um, we're staying with the battle scene. So if you look below in the description for the video, the link is there. If you want to watch it again, pause this video, go and watch the battle scene again. It's the same one we've watched, but this time, have a look at the characters that are in the battle scene. Who do you see? What type of creatures? Those are the questions I want you to think about. Okay, we're going to create a character that's in our battle. Now, when you think about a character, there's two main focuses. You have appearance and personality. And the best way to remember which one is which, is appearance is the outside. What do they look like? Personality is on the inside. What are they like? So your task for today, is I want you to divide your page into two, have one heading as appearance, one heading as personality, and unfortunately the photo's been cropped, but I want you to come up with five bullet points that match your character. Now, I've created an evil, cruel, bloodthirsty character, so I wanted to make them look quite scary. So I've included some fangs and claws, but then I've gave you more detail, the yellow claws, sharp claws. You can create an evil character, just like I have, and use my ideas, or you can come up with a totally new evil character or a totally new good character. They do not have to be human because our story is non-fiction, so you can be as creative as you want. When you finish this task, make sure that you take evidence, either a photo or you've typed up your work, 
and send it to me on Class Dojo. When you're finished, if you want to do the challenge, I want you to recreate your character but add them into the battle. So are they fighting someone else? Are they about to go in for the killing blow? Have your character, have they been defeated? Which side of the armor are they on? Are they charging into battle? If you choose to do the challenge, make sure that you send me evidence of your work. Well done, guys.